welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're in Abilene Texas and we're taking a stock car team's equipment to of all places Stockton and uh, let me just see what the destination is I think it's something crazy like a Walmart yeah it's a Walmart let's just assume they've got some kind of special promotion going on there and uh, yeah so new skin um, just put it up on Steam as I'm recording this and uh, we've got a um, the Folgers Racing slash Roush Racing team number six Mart Martin Ford NASCAR car skin going here and um, yeah so this is the updated trailer that's on Steam right now it's going over really well so i had done the other skin in the last video for the original mod and so it's a different template and everything so I made a version for this trailer as well and they're going to be separate so the truck and the trailer instead of making it a skin pack because it may make more trucks to haul the trailer so it might as well not make it a skin pack and um, works on both BIT cabs for the uh, K100 from Overfloater so the uh, Aerodyne BIT and the straight BIT which this is so let's do it uh, we got a route we got probably got a root advisor going we'll find out soon enough when we hit the first corner I don't see why we wouldn't and the uh, other thing we're doing here is we got uh, no paid mods in this uh, in this run we've got um, the ISX uh, 15 engine that comes with the truck or I assume it, maybe it comes with another truck I have in this profile hmm that's a point maybe it came with the uh, Turn right. the Ford uh, LTL Regardless, it's not a paid one. It's not a Z mod, which is weird because I love Z mod. <laughs> this one sounds pretty good, though. First time I've driven it, this engine. I just kind of listened to it at the dealership and said, "Oh, that's that's all right. Throw that in here." Jeez, I should have been watching for that guy. I was thinking about the engine. Oh, there's a cop. <laughs> Cut off a cop. Nice. Oh, boy. Nice start to the trip. Okay, Ossifer. I was pretty close to a stop. What do you think? Uh, I picked a slightly shorter trip, so we get to the other end. I'll show you a bunch of the loads that this modified trailer has. So I got that uh, full tilt buggy going on the roads. The uh, shake, rattle, and roll option. Um, uh, what do they call it? Uneven road surface or something? I forget all of a sudden.
I, uh, in the last, uh, uh, ETS video I did, I actually drove the same truck over there in Europe. It was kind of fun. Second time I've, uh, had this one out over there. But it's really cool, the road. We'll get past this bridge and we'll have a look. It's got the wheels bouncing up and down on the track. You can see the, oops. Try to keep it on the road here. But it's, it's pretty neat. So it's not just the screens jiggling around, like they're calculating the whole deal in. So I really like that. Come on, let's have some cruise here. Yeah, I like the fact that the, uh, we've got a, um, you know, they didn't just take the easy way out. A couple Ford O'Connell lines in a row here. Uh-oh. Trouble ahead. I wonder if I have adaptive cruise turned on. We'll find out pretty soon. It doesn't look like it. I think we're going to have to hit the brakes here. Well, that's a fine how do you do. I thought we were going to be highballing along here. Yeah, it's one of the guys from the classic uh, truck pack up there. Putzing along beside the bus. Dang it. Wow. Yeah, well. Good thing I, I took a shorter trip. <laughs> only hope these guys start turning off. No, the bus didn't. I got modern trucks going in here. I wonder what's going on. It must not have that mod in here. It's not. I thought I had it in this profile. The uh, one that removes the modern traffic. Hmm. Because we got lots of the old classic stuff going on here. It's unfortunate. We just can't get them going. Come on, you can figure it out. It's just guys changing lanes, dudes. Oh, my word. Come on, Volvo, let it rip. I don't have the power to get past. Oh, we'll, we'll make it, hopefully. Get a little downhill coming here. Very briefly. Got 
coming for him now. There we go. An old auto car. <laughs> All of that <laughs> going off the road. What does Jake sounds like on this? Oh, that's not bad. I'll have to uh, try Zmod's uh, ISX 15 or whatever. Oh, that guy's got a yield sign, right? Yeah. Just gotta watch out for myself. I like to change. Yeah, modern trucks in here still. I wonder if that uh, mod just doesn't work in 147. Or did I forget to put it in my mod order? Probably why we got so much traffic back there. Got all these other add-on mods and nothing to take the new stuff away. one of those, was that a CLT or a Mac over there? CLT. An old Impala right there. Uh, 63 or 4? 64, I think. Where's that Jag? The other day I said it was a 120, but I think it's a 150. I get a closer look at it. Uh oh. Come on. Yeah, sing. Little light on the bottom end there, but. Yeah, what I was going to do, I still might do it. <laughs> yeah, what happened, I was going to do the W900A, because I wanted to do a free truck. Yeah, I didn't want to put uh, another, you know, this skin on a mod truck. Um, and, uh, I mean, the trailer's free. And I will put it on mod trucks down the road. I'm thinking the FLX 359, this skin would look great on there. But, I was thinking the W900A from 4K modding would be a good one. It's, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have it. But then I was watching, a, I was looking for, just out of interest, uh, videos on YouTube of old uh, NASCAR haulers. And I found a dude, he went with his son here, the little guy in the background. He was cool. He was probably like an eight or nine year old and all full of P and V, you know, and all pumped up about being there. And they were in the paddock at Dover racetrack a couple of years in a row. Two different videos. The the perspective is all wrong. Like it's it's not great. 
<laughs> but uh, it was just fun to hear the kid in the background. And they were seeing the old uh, haulers, uh, a little bit older than this one, but the right vintage for the trucks. And I was seeing a few uh, LTL 9000s hauling trailers and uh, a couple K100s, some CLTs. Uh, like I said, LTLs. It was cool. And when I saw the uh, K100 done up as a, a hauler with a trailer, I thought, man, it's all the excuse I need. miles. 56 miles or goggles 56. How nice is that? A bunch of slow cars here. GTO. Sweet. Red. They said Data Gal had a 69 red GTO. 400. 400 turbo hydro. That was fun. <laughs> oh man. Oh, sorry I'm laughing but man I took that thing for some good rips. You know the way you do. Whoops. What's going on here? Can't find a gear. Yeah, it was red with the white interior, very 69-ish. It was uh, that nice Krager SS mags on it, which was pretty common back then. And uh, BF Goodrich TA radials. And she could drive a stick, so it was kind of a bummer that uh, it was it wasn't uh, standard. Yeah, How far did we got to go? Twelve miles, so eleven miles, not that far. I didn't get the photo. Oh. That's not the best angle, that's a little better. Oh, 
Oh, this darn train. Uh, missed that gear twice. I guess we'll give up. There's a Pinto. Oh, they're stopped back here. <laughs> Some of these alarms going. This light can be pretty infuriating. So this trailer has different light scenario on the back. So that's on a signal. See there. And oh, we don't have our... Let's put our, our running lights on. That's kind of cool. And you can have those uh, chrome bumper things there. I guess that's for the lid lays down on or something. I don't know. But uh, that's different too. You, you, there's a couple options for that. You could have had a uh, third row. And the other thing I wanted to mention, if you use the retro uh, wheel and tire pack, the 24.5s, They've got um, some low-profile 22.5s in there, and with Smarties 22.5 polished Alcoas or Chrome Alcoas, you get a pretty nice low-profile wheel for the back. An option on this trailer, which we can't do on the original trailer. So there's a little tip: the retro 24.5s, the Bridgestone shiny 22.5 low and the 22.5 uh, chrome alcoa from smarty looks pretty good i'll put links to both in the description Walmart, that's down. Yeah, next one here. Okay, what do we got in store? Ooh, shoot. Uh, this trailer. I know we could probably go around the store. Is there anybody behind us? I think it might make it a heck of a lot easier. what we'll do oh there I go again stalled it again come on yeah see that trailer it doesn't turn very well and that 90 degree up there is a little abrupt so we're going to go out into the parking lot here by ourselves a little room. Now we gotta get around that post, but it should be too bad if we go out over here. We got a straight run around the back here. That'll work. See, that post is coming pretty close. She's a big one, like a long, uh, long trailer. That's a one way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know we're coming. Oh, there's another hauler right there.
Okay. Oh, I don't have that mirror angle quite right. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I guess we see the trailer coming into it. Yeah, like that. We're good. I can't uh, see what I'm doing. Where's... Oh, there it is. The <laughs> side of the trailer is so shiny. I'll get that spiel out of the way. Go away. There we go. Okay, right on. Two hundred fifty two miles. Yeah, so we'll have a look at the cargoes here. You're gonna get a kick out of them. And uh, cool. So, job market. And look at that stuff we got. There's a 58 Caddy, GT500 Mustang, a hot rod. That Impala, that's a 67 Impala. Looks like about a 55, 56 T Bird. And then the race team, that's what we're doing right now, the race car setup. So when, with the other trailer we did the last time, this is the only car we get, race car. But it's not as heavy. It's uh, 30 some thousand. 69 Camaro, looks like an RSSS. RS has the hideaway lights. It's got an SS badge on the grill. 55 Chevy. That's a 66. Chopped LTFD. Whatever the hell that is, that is a, uh, well, that really, well, maybe, maybe it's a 64 Buick Skylark, I don't know. An oldie, that's an Oldsmobile, that's about a 53 Olds. Duesenberg, is this, that's a 61 Impala, yeah, I got that right. 47 pickup, kind of distorted. Looks like a Dodge Fargo or something. Another Impala. There's that 41 Ford. Impala. There's that 66 Mustang. That's a beauty. 60. They got 68 Camaro. Yeah. What else? There's one in here they call a. There's a 59 Caddy. <clears throat> there's one in here they cut. Here it is. They call this an old GTO. And if I'm not mistaken, that's an Australian Ford Falcon. Or something. That is not a GTO. That's the one I wanted to show you. That's kind of different. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Nice. So they got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, look at that. Knight Rider. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. 32 Ford High Boy. That's what we had in that last time. A 32 5 window coupe. Milner's car from American Graffiti. Very cool. Anyway, that's some of the loads. It's kind of fun. And uh, it, it got me to thinking that, uh, boy, it'd be cool if some uh, enterprising uh, mod map maker, map mod maker, whichever, <laughs> if they would uh, put a bunch of racetracks in and you could haul these things from racetrack to racetrack, that would be pretty neat. So anyway, there's the Folgers K100. And trailer, they're up on Steam. Links will be in the video. And I uh, hope you have fun with it. And we'll we'll make more. And down the road, we'll try and do some more race teams to get a bit of variety going. And uh, we'll catch you later, guys. Take care, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.